Meghan McCain seemingly threw shade at Vice President Mike Pence Friday morning when he offered a eulogy honoring her father at his funeral. As Pence began his speech commemorating the former U.S. senator's impressive military record, Meghan appeared to glare at Pence and give him the side eye for some time as she grasped her 106-year-old grandmother's hand. Pence said during the speech, The president asked me to be here on behalf of a grateful nation, to pay a debt of honor and respect to a man who served his country throughout his life, in uniform and in public office. Today is a reflection of the esteem in which his colleagues and our country hold him, Senator John McCain joins those ranks. Meghan's facial expression attracted attention from several social media users. The side eye Meghan McCain is giving Mike Pence, one Twitter user said. Another added, I feel like Meghan McCain is trying to set Pence on fire with her mind. Another Twitter user wrote, Meghan McCain is side-eyeing as Mike Pence uses the occasion of John McCain's remembrance service at the U.S. Capitol to stand for Trump. I completely support that side-eye. And one more added, Meghan McCain looks like she's ready to drop Mike Pence. Pence said during the eulogy, the son and the grandson of four-star admirals, John came from a family that prized military service. He entered the United States Naval Academy when he was just 17 years old. His service as a naval aviator took him around the world and eventually to the war in Vietnam. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Speaker Paul Ryan also delivered speeches at the service where they discussed McCain's time in the military and his love for his country. McCain, who planned his funeral before died, banned Trump from attending his memorials but wanted Pence to be in attendance. The vice president remembered traveling with McCain and his energy on the long trips. On behalf of a grateful nation we will ever remember John McCain and served his country honorably. May God bless John McCain. Pence shook hands with the McCain family after his remarks and gave Cindy McCain a warm embrace. The Capitol Rotunda was packed with lawmakers and administration officials with the exception of Trump during the service Friday.